Hi, my name is Kevin, and I'm here to show you how I made this amazing, beautiful camper van out of a Chrysler Town & Country LX minivan. So, for one thing, the Chrysler Town & Country LX, um, after the year 2005, I guess, I'm not sure, this is a 2007, all the seats fold down into the floor. Uh, same with the Dodge Grand Caravan and uh, a couple of other models. So you should look for a minivan where the seats fold down into the floor. That makes things a lot easier. Then, what I did is... I got this air mattress. Um, it's a full-size air mattress. And uh, I put the I put it in so that the... The um, air input is in the back by the back hatch, which makes things easier. When you want to fill it up, you just, boom, stick it right in there. Uh, covered it with some blankets. A lot of blankets, actually, because it gets cold at night. So you want a lot of layers. And uh, lots of pillows. And uh, you could sleep in either direction, which is cool. Um... Oh, here, here's one cool thing that I did to keep the mosquitoes out at night. If you can see here, uh, the, the rear windows, they have vents. So they open just like slightly outward. So what I did is I cut up some Velcro, double uh, sticky sided Velcro, and I used some of this material. It's called tool. You can find it in a fabric shop. And I stuck some to the inside of the car and some to the window that way when the when the vent opens it's covered the opening is covered by mosquito net and what i'm going to do is i'm going to if if it rains i'm going to put some plastic wrap on the top like uh just like clear plastic wrap i'm going to put it on the outside of the car so that it keeps the rain out um let's see what else i keep cacti in the car see there and there, and uh, a couple under here, and some aloe in the front. Um, the reason is because cacti and desert plants in general, they um, they exhale oxygen at night. So that means that even with the windows closed, at least I'll have some oxygen. But I, I do prefer to keep the windows at least cracked open. And this thing is really useful too. You see, that can just go right in there. And uh, it blows air directly from the vent into the car. So it improves the circulation. I got this for like $6 at uh, Home Depot. I got these cacti for like $2 each at Home Depot. Um, the tool cost like, I don't know, $3. I don't remember. The Velcro cost like $6 for a strip pretty long strip. Um, I also keep water right next to the bed which is useful always you know contact lenses, a bag of stuff that's important you know toothbrush, toothpaste, vitamins. This is really important these are earplugs that you can get at CVS. I like these they keep out sound at night if if you're in a noisy place. Also in this little well over here it's a very convenient place to keep st stuff you know, like contact solution or whatever you need. And also bear spray, in case you get attacked by a bear or a person. And uh, an ax, you know, just in case you need to chop some wood or something. Um, and, uh, oh, I like to keep a headlamp within easy reach in case it's dark. So that goes in there, and um, let's see, oh, as you can see in the front, next to the sliding doors, I put all, all my stuff. I would recommend packing light because this car is not as big as, oh, I gotta press the button on my keys. That's another good thing about the Town & Country LX. 2007 it has automatic alarm anyways um, this thing 
and keep the food in the bottom and clothes in the top and then just a bunch of crap over there I'm gonna try to reorganize all this stuff I put a bunch of stuff in the passenger seat I gotta reorganize all this stuff because it's kind of hard to access oh and uh, there's some room under the bed also because the the floor is a little sloped so by the front of the bed I put a, a whole bunch of duffel bags and I'm just stuffing my dirty laundry under there makes it nice and easy it keeps the bed level and uh, you get to take naps in beautiful places like this and sleep in beautiful places where you otherwise wouldn't be able to sleep sometimes for free sometimes you pay for a campground a few dollars but yeah definitely worthwhile so anyway that's my beautiful town and country LX camper van uh, definitely recommend trying it out if you're thinking about converting a car into a camper.